Good morning everybody. Today is Saturday and it's a beautiful day here in South Louisiana. I'm having my bulletproof coffee this morning and waiting for my son the paddy wagon to come and pick me up because we are going to New Orleans to meet up with our my granddaughter Jessica, his daughter Jessica and her friend Casey. So we are there. I guess they're doing a 5K run today or tonight sometime in New Orleans. They're originally from Tennessee. So uh, they had a long drive here to uh, New Orleans. So um, rather than have them drive two more hours here and then back, we decided to go and visit them. So Paddy Wagon's on his way over. We are going to have some breakfast, probably at the Waffle House, because you can get a keto breakfast there. So, that's the plan for right now. It is about, well, it's in the morning. It's not that early, but it's about 10 o'clock. So, um, I will bring my camera with me, hopefully videotape some stuff. And, um, yeah, so... Um, I'm going to just start this morning, too, with a little, um, little bit about my retirement. So, December 29th, 2017, was my last day at the local hospital where I made phone calls to uh, patients that were in the ER. And um, actually, to begin with, four years pri five years prior to that, I actually started the program. Um, it was a brand new uh, position that they created, and this was to call the people from that had been to the emergency room that had went home, and uh, to follow up with them to make sure they're taking their medications properly, to make sure they made a appointment, follow up with their doctors, if there was having any problems or issues. Um, and anything that uh, they needed to talk about. So I was the first and only call girl, call girl, that's what I called it, um, in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the hospital in the area, so in that hospital. So um, I continued on that for, um, they put me in different areas to make phone calls because they didn't have a regular office for me. So eventually, I think six to eight months, I think I was just scattered around for about six months when they finally found a little office for me in the um, uh, first floor of the hospital. And I continued to do my calls, callbacks. And um, for two, three, four years, and on the fourth year, they finally hired somebody else to uh, work with me. So I had then there was two people, and um, then we were moved over to another hospital, same corporation, but just a different area, and they gave us a um, private offices to do our phone calls in. So there was two of us at that point. So that's where I'm going to stop for today. And um, we will continue this again. Um, and there will be parts two, three, four, five, probably several parts to this retirement um, saga. So in the meantime, I will be filming some uh, New Orleans stuff with the granddaughter and her friend and my pet son, Patrick the Paddy Wagon. I hope you stay tuned. Don't forget to give this thumbs up and I will not end this video right now. I'll end it later. All right. Love you all. Come on along with us to New Orleans. Hey everybody. Here's Paddy Wagon. Hey. And we're on our way to New Orleans and we're going to stop and have some breakfast hopefully at the Cracker Barrel. And so I just wanted to say hello and have Patty Wagon say hello. And so we'll see you on the road. So here we are coming into New Orleans. And uh, we're heading down to the Garden Center. Garden District. Garden District. That's where my granddaughter's um, hotel is. So just wanted to give you a little bird's eye view of what we see here. 
in New Orleans and look at that traffic. Bridges and everything. There we go. And I did a video um, a while back when my friend was here uh, visiting, Liz, and I showed you a lot of the homeless uh, aspect of New Orleans over here where the tent people are. And yeah, so okay. Here we are in New Orleans and here's a, a wedding. Look at that. There's a pretty bride. There's the trolley. A wedding party. Okay, check the guy out, the little short one there with the beer in his hand. He's pretty much done. Take a look at the girls are buying clothes. Here comes the trolley. Get the trolley. And then there's the trolley. This is the hotel that my granddaughter is staying at. And it's right in the heart of New Orleans. Hey everybody. So we are in New Orleans still. We did take a little detour to uh, the casino at Harrah's and um, we weren't very lucky at all and now it's dark and we're on our way home so I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see a little bit of New Orleans at night okay so this is New Orleans at night and we're heading to the um, interstate. This lady over there, she's boogieing. <laughs> we are the tent people. Homeless people that have their tents all set up. And I think you've seen this all before. So I'm not going to show you again. Good morning everybody, this is Marion and today I'm just going to continue on a little bit about retirement and a year in the life. So as I stated in my previous uh, video that I did retire on December 29th, 2017 and um, I had a little bit in retirement 401k which I had taken some money out to put the down payment on my house in 2015 and I think I already told you about that. So I was paying myself back as I was working. So that's what you can do with the retirement that you take, especially at a certain age where you don't get penalized. Uh, you do get the 20% taken out for taxes though. So I did start paying myself back. but. Um, by the time the hospital started doing some changes, they added more people, they added more responsibilities. Not that I was opposed to responsibilities, I wasn't. I just felt that at the, the age that I was, I didn't need to learn any more um, things about the um, situation that was going on and the uh, development of new uh, protocols. So. I said this is a good time for me to retire. So I did have a little bit of money and I do have a social security that comes in every month so and I do live with family. So I was very very fortunate there. Um, I do pay um, my sh fair share here um, but I do have uh, some money saved up or I did. It took about a year to go through it, so I was very careful um, in what I did, but um, I was fortunate enough that I did not have to apply for food stamps. I did not have to apply for any kind of government help, which is good, and I still don't. So, that being said, people um, who are on retirement and on, on Social Security do have a difficult time. For it, because uh, with it, because it is a, a, a small amount of money um, to live on for people who have to pay rent, electric, car insurance, car payments, or whatever. 
So, um, I'm not going to do this in part one, two, three, etc., etc. I'm just going to come on every once in a while and talk about my situation in retirement, the year and the life. So, um, I'm going to cut this one short because I do have some other video on here. So this one will be added to it, and um, I'll see you. In, I'll see you in a couple of days with some more. Um, about Social Security and about retirement. All right. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to be kind to one another. It's a rough world out there. We all know that. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, comment below, and share the video. And also, if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe and click that little bell down there uh, in the middle, in the side. And also, thank you for my subscribers that have been with me for a while and thank you for hanging in there with me and thank you all the new subscribers that have come aboard and um, I love you all. Take care. Ne till next time. Mwah.